more than 20 years, I dedicated my life to snowboarding. I have traveled the world seeking for the sensation of flying down a mountain. Thriving for the perfect line, I was giving meaning to the brute forces of the mountains. But times change, and I ask myself if there's more about it. How else can we participate in Mother Nature's dance? Could we transform her raw energies into meaningful motion and life improvement? In my home region of Erbia, we use the flow of water, an energy source well worth further exploration. Hydropower is actually one of the oldest forms of energy. People had water mills a long time ago, and when you think about it, it didn't change much. We have improved the designs, but the idea stays the same. So my name is Lynn, I'm an engineering student, and during the summer, I work here at the Grand Dixence Dam and I take people inside the dam and do the tour with them. The Grand Dixence Dam weighs about 15 million tons. It's 285 meters high, so it makes it the highest gravity dam in the world. The water is going to leave the dam and go to three electricity plants. Those electricity plants produce over 2 million kilowatt hours every year. This is enough to cover the needs of 500,000 average households every year, which is huge. The whole European electricity network is connected. And of course, the Grand Exos Dam plays a role because it helps the whole network to stay up to the frequency that's needed. Die Vision ist es, im Endeffekt die Zukunft im Wassersport mit elektrischen Hydrofoils mitzugestalten. Das Audi e-tron Foil steht für Leichtbau, Aerodynamik, Effizienz und Performance. Im Endeffekt die DNA, die auch Audi hat. Deswegen passen die zwei Welten so gut zusammen. Mein Name ist Franz Hofmann, ich war Fahrzeugentwickler bei Audi und nun bin ich einer der Gründer der Aerofoils GmbH. Ja, Simulation ist eigentlich der Ursprung jeder Entwicklung, Simulation und Konstruktion am Rechner. Und Pioniere sind für mich immer neugierig und auf der Suche nach Veränderung. Und das ist ja das, was dann auch später Fortschritt erzeugt. Since the beginning of my career, learning a new skill has been always a mandatory thing for me. I need something new. I need to feel progression. And progression is what drives me as a person, as an athlete. And with the foil, you know, I've been really feeling it. It goes in two stages. It's the stage where you start to get some speed at the beginning and you feel that you're attached to the earth. You feel gravity. <laughs> You push full throttle, and then all of a sudden, the foil starts lifting. And the noise goes down, and you start flying, and everything becomes so smooth. The chop disappears, and you're just literally flying above water. When the moment is right, when the elements are like kind of accepting you and embracing you in a way, there's something magic that happens. And on top of that, you get that speed feeling. You can go up to 50 kilometers an hour, and on water, that's just mental. It seems that our mobility solutions are changing. But this is nothing to be afraid of. Ultimately, 
being open-minded to new developments has always helped me to progress. After more than 20 years as a professional snowboarder, my goal is to pass on this spirit. And just like these bold pioneers, driving for unconventional approaches, I think that immobility bears us the chance to open us a new dimension of freedom.